Welcome to Hollywood, the tinsel mecca. Hey, thanks for joining us watching a video of driving through Hollywood. We just went up Laurel Canyon Boulevard slash Fairfax and made a right onto Hollywood Boulevard. It's another beautiful blue sky day here in Hollywood. Not much traffic because of the situation, so that's actually a really nice treat. This area is pretty residential. There's a few houses that were built around the 1910s, 1920s that are still being lived in, obviously refurbished. Um, they go for a few million dollars. And most of the housing in this residential area are either duplexes, apartment buildings. Uh, there's maybe one or two high rises. I think there's one coming up in a few. Um, that's not really a high rise, but I mean like a really tall apartment building. But for the most part, they're maybe like three, four or five stories, which is fairly low for Los Angeles. Uh, we have a lot of skyscraper type apartment buildings popping up near East Hollywood. So yeah, this is a Hollywood proper on Hollywood Boulevard. Not much street parking. So if you come here, Make sure you absolutely watch the street signs because they will ticket you and they will tow you and you cannot talk your way out of it. So we just crossed La Brea and we are entering onto Hollywood Boulevard proper where you can see the Boulevard of Stars on both sides of the street. So famous movie stars, cameramen, conductors, actors, actresses, television shows, people's names on stars. Um, yeah, things in this video, things are boarded up right now, but it's, it's temporary. It's going to be okay. Uh, right here, we actually had to make a slight detour because they were just starting to paint the Black Lives Matter mural uh, in front of uh, the Gromit's Chinese Theater. So 
shortly we'll be able to drive down Hollywood Boulevard again and get a better look at that which we just found out is going to be permanent so it's a permanent art monument on Hollywood Boulevard and um, Man's Chinese Theater, Grauman's Chinese Theater as it's originally known uh, is where they have all of the red carpet Hollywood movie screenings so on the left would be the theater and on the right across the street would be lots of people not just tourists but fans who would line up by the hundreds maybe thousands to maybe get a look at the movie stars in the movies that are going to be premiered that night and um, I don't consider it very some people might say it's a tourist trap but I think if you come here you need to see it come out look at the hand prints and the feet prints in front of the theater walk along the boulevard get some pictures with the stars on the sidewalk I mean where else are you gonna get to do that it's it's pretty fun we, we still like doing it So right in front of us is the Magic Castle, and above that, you kind of can't see it, is the restaurant Yamashiro, which is a Japanese restaurant. Um, we're taking a little detour onto Franklin Avenue, but to hear more about Yamashiro and the Magic Castle, that's in our Franklin Avenue video. So we're just taking a little detour right now on Franklin Avenue, and we're going to head back down to Hollywood Boulevard. Now, the really cool thing about this area is during the 30s and 40s, um, Hollywood was in its golden age of movies heyday, and it was pretty wonderful, and a lot of the buildings are historic, and you can go in them. There's, there are shops, restaurants, and if you just let yourself for a minute close your eyes and kind of pretend that you're back in that time you can really feel the pulse and the energy and the excitement of movie magic in Hollywood okay we just made a right on Highland Avenue and we're gonna make a left going back down going east on Hollywood Boulevard again so we just drove around the detour and if you want to see more information about the Hollywood and Highland Shopping Center, which uh, is really interesting, the whole location and the property and what was there before, uh, go to the Franklin Avenue video. It's in the playlist. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of history in this area. So on Hollywood Boulevard, there's a lot of restaurants and bars that are really fun to eat at. There's also a historical restaurant called Musso and Frank's, and we're going to do a whole piece on that because that is a historical landmark restaurant that has been open since 1927, and the service is impeccable. The steaks are giant. The martinis are fabulous. The maitre d' is all-star, top shelf class. It's a great, great place. And in one of the dining rooms, there's a mural that looks pretty dusty. And they say they're never going to clean it because at one point you could smoke in that restaurant. And they say, why would we wipe off the smoke? 
that came from Humphrey Bogart cigars. So that's the kind of place Musso and Frank's is. That's the kind of thing that if you love Hollywood, Hollywood history, Hollywood lore, Musso and Frank's is definitely going to be a stop that you want to do. Uh, there is a dress code. Ladies dress with at least, uh, you know, nice pants, slacks, or a dress. And gentlemen, you need to wear at least a suit jacket, no baseball hats, no shorts, no flip-flops. It's definitely worth it. So we are technically in Hollywood, headed to East Hollywood, and there's a little bit of traffic. It's probably 85 degrees on this day, but it's not bad. It's not sweltering, and uh, the building right ahead of us is the Taft Building. Uh, Luella Parsons used to have her office on the top floor, which that's pretty historical. If you don't know who Luella Parsons is, look her up.
We've got a nice big crane right there. There's another apartment building going up. And it's really crazy to see these buildings go up because they start with a giant hole in the ground. Well, first they start with raising whatever building was there. And then it starts with a giant hole in the ground that is usually for underground parking. And, um, you know, these buildings, they just seem to go up overnight. Pretty interesting. So, yeah, if you come here and you see a lot of cranes, it's, it's just... It's just, they're just putting up another apartment building. So here in East Hollywood, it's an older part of Hollywood because it's nearer to downtown Los Angeles. And uh, during the 30s, 40s, and 50s, a lot of the movie studios had come from downtown after they had switched from silent pictures to talkies to sound to technicolor to giant sound stages and um, so a lot of the buildings you see are original uh, lots of brick a lot of the architects were from the east so they were used to dealing with hardy heavy weather and so they built a lot of brick buildings but they just look so nice and lovely and there's a feeling that you can feel here if you try of the, the old Hollywood glamour. You can see it in the buildings. I like East Hollywood.
So we're getting closer to the border of East Hollywood and Silver Lake. And if you'd like to see a video on driving down Silver Lake Boulevard, it's on our playlist. So you go ahead and check that out. It's another driving video. And as you can see here, the buildings are shorter. There aren't as many palm trees. And there's one more wider lane of traffic. But I gotta tell you, not having so much traffic is definitely a perk for the situation that is happening right now. So I guess, you know, we'll, we'll take a, a few good things out of it, right? I hope everybody's doing okay with the situation. And we really appreciate you all watching. That was Hollywood Boulevard, straight ahead of Silver Lake. Thank you for watching. Give us that thumbs up if you liked the video. Click the notification bell and remember to subscribe. And we'll see you soon, driving through Hollywood.